नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन एर्थ लीकेज डिटेक्टर एंड इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट एडजस्टमेंट एंड ट्रबल शूटिंग इन द प्रीवियस टू सेशंस वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड यूसेज ऑफ ईएलडी एंड इंस्टॉलेशन एंड वायरिंग इन दिस वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट एडजस्टमेंट ईएलडी एडजस्टमेंट हाउ टू एडजस्ट 24 volts external i am taking one example of one of the sub modules let us say sub module i am taking 24 volts external for a 4 volt station the leakage value is expected to be about 360 kilo ohms this is only a reference value this is uh, as a reference value given by rdso but it can be changing from station to station depending upon the quality of uh, the cables provided in the station let us say now presently it is uh, 5 mega ohms the above if we want to adjust 24 volts external to 500 kilo ohms why we should adjust it for 500 kilo ohms and how to adjust it for 500 kilo ohms is what we are going to learn in the next session let us take it with two examples if we adjust it for 24 volts external for 500 kilo ohms with example 1 what actually does it mean consider 24 volts external is exactly 500 kilo ohms on a scale it's showing a in leakage resistance of 500 kilo ohms now if we calculate the current leaking to earth what is the amount of current that is leaking to earth by this formula v is equal to ir which implies i is equal to v by r which implies uh, i which is equal to voltage that is 24 volts divided by 500000 ohms so if we calculate we will get it as 48 microamps what does it mean it means that 48 microamps of current is leaking when you are reading if so when you are reading on eld for 24 volts external is uh, 500 kilo ohms so if the leakage is 48 microamps it is too less to affect any of our signaling circuits so we need not worry much if it is showing so uh, less current but what happens if the leakage resistance uh, decreases it means that the current that is going to earth also increases so let us say we have taken uh, 500 kilo ohms as our reference value now the leakage has come below that 500 kilo ohms that is our fault indication has come that is our fault indication has come now if the fault indication has come means the leakage is below the set reference value how much we don't know so it depends on the we can measure the we can know with the leakage on this scale now how much if it is less than we the minimum value is 2 kilo ohms if it is up to 2 kilo ohms we will know the leakage resistance but imagine a case when the leakage resistance is below 2 kilo ohms we don't know how much because our minimum is 2 kilo ohms now let us take the example of uh, leaking below 2 kilo ohms let us just imagine that it is 100 ohms the leakage resistance is just 100 ohms if in that case if we just calculate with the same formula as i is equal to v by r that is 24 by 100 then the leakage current to earth is 240 milliamps and yes this 240 milliamps can affect our circuits to some extent hpr may pick up slowly tpr may pick up slowly because the leak current is leaking to earth hence our circuits may get affected so now we want to adjust 
this 24 volts external how we should adjust it let us say first taking a 24 volts external bus bar we will check the leakage resistance of the particular bus bar we will check the leakage resistance on the particular bus bar on the black scale just switch on the switch comp uh, reference potentiometer this uh, switch come reference potentiometer should be switched on immediately your reading will show as 1 mega ohm that is the maximum range that is available so the lead uh, presently the reading shown is 1 mega ohm set reference led will lit on the concerned 24 volts external sub uh, sub module now if we consider this one immediately when we switch on this potentiometer on the main module you will see this led lit that is set reference led will lit now on the main module turn potentiometer clockwise till reading on black scale is set to the required level so this uh, we have to adjust it are turning clockwise from mega 1 mega ohm that is the maximum now we want to adjust it to 500 kilo ohms so when turning it at 500 kilo ohms what will happen the reading that you can see here should be showing 500 kilo ohms until that you have to turn this one after turning it and the reading on the uh, reading bar is showing 500 kilo ohms now we have to work on the sub module so now turn the potentiometer of the sub module of the concerned channel clockwise here also we need to turn this one clockwise at 500 kilo ohms we will get the fault indication basically this will be minimum 2 kilo ohms as per factory settings. This has a range from 2 kilo ohms to 1 mega ohm maximum. Here we have adjusted it for 500 kilo ohms. So when this one and this one is same, you will get the fault indication lit. Now switch off the switch come potentiometer. Switch come reference potentiometer on the main module isko band karna chahiye you should switch off after setting it in the sub module you should switch off then only it will work as an eld now your sub module for 24 volts external is set to 500 kilo ohms so what does it mean whenever the leakage resistance of the bus bar supply is less than 500 kilo ohms whenever the leakage is less than 500 kilo ohms your fault uh, appears on the sub module you have 500 whenever the leakage resistance slowly you have adjusted it for 500 kilo ohms presently it was 5 let us say 5 mega ohms slowly it is deteriorating the cable slowly after six months or one year there is more leakages or one conductor has become defective when it slowly gets leaked and at 500 kilo ohms leakage resistance and your module is also set to 500 kilo ohms you will get this indication of fault so this procedure should be adopted for all the sub modules also this earth leakage detector can be also used as a cable insulation tester how to do cable measuring with this cable insulation tester here you can see keep the channel selector switch in the insulation test module this is your channel selector switch you have to keep it in the insulated uh, insulation test position so analog meter may you should see the red scale here here you can see the red scale. This scale is used for leakage resistance. 
it generally shows 500 mega ohms or above connect the green color led lead to a good earth a green color led should be connected to a earth earth uh, either uh, providing through your uh, relay room or uh, jo bhi earth aapko milta hai wo earth ko connect kijiye use this red wires to measure the conductors here you need not remove or disconnect any conductor from load only condition as we have discussed is it should not have any potential you should not have any there should not be any voltage in the conductors if there is voltage then it will show that bus bar is energized if the leakage is below the set reference value of uh, 5 mega ohms then this is this indication will come that is leakage below set value if the conductors under measure are having a voltage then bus bar energized led will glow the bottom one will glow it will not measure the insulation resistance of the cable in this condition it will be working uh, yeah, because voltage is there it will not be working as a cable insulation tester and it will not measure so you should not take the readings when the bottom red led is glowing if the cable is not having any voltage then only it will measure the insulation resistance of that pair if the insulation resistance less than 5 mega ohms then the above indication will come it means that the cable is defective and less than the below set value now how to localize the cable fault with eld this is a very important part here i will tell you in two systems here when the system is resetting and system not resetting system resetting now imagine that you have uh, come over in the morning your eld is showing defective and buzzer is coming so you press the reset button on the sub module immediately it gets resetted it means that the leakage is not continuous so leakage is not continuous it is only coming for one particular pair or one particular conductor only that conductor bill can be easily found out by uh, doing the same operations for which the indication has come you can use data logger also to find out the uh, yeah, when the leakage has started sub module fault indication is lit intermittently and system okay when reset applied so in this condition observe for which operation the eld shows faulty example let us imagine that whenever you take off a loop line signal whenever you take off loop line signal that is let us say s3 hpr whenever supply is going on hpr conductors you are getting a fault indication of 24 volts external means that conductors hpr conductors whenever signal is taken off then only leakage is available means those conductors have to be checked this type of failures can be easily done but if the system is not resetting then it is very difficult it is maybe leakage is uh, either in the bus bar or in the sub uh, in the uh, power supply system also so when sub module fault indication is lit continuously and unable to reset the system disconnect all outgoing supplies of the bus bar and reset so we have to re re disconnect all the supplies that are going and then you have to reset it if system reset means it is natural that the outgoing circuit there is some leakage you have to check independently the bus bar or the cables and find out the defective cable and isolate it but if the system is not resetting even when all outgoing supplies are disconnected then the leakage may be from the power supply side also maybe in the ips if the ips yes, smr is defective that is supply is going 24 110 volts let us say 
uh, is leaking from SMR board. SMR board से leak हो रहा है यह को. Then you have to isolate that particular SMR. Or if inverter there is some PCB problem in the inverter or SMR, then also earth leakage detector will show as defective. That has to be found out, and you have to eliminate that particular earthing uh, point of earth. Here, all submodules show fault indication even when leakage uh, meter shows above set reference value. Then you have to check E1 and E2 earths. They may be open or having high resistance. Similarly, there may be another condition also here. When leakage resistance in meter is less than the preset value, but module shows OK. So, what does it mean? Preset value. You have given a preset value. The leakage resistance is less than that. Let us say 500 kilo ohms is what we have set. But presently it is 100 kilo ohms only. But the module is not showing defective. It should show defective because reading is less than 500 kilo ohms and you have adjusted it for 500 kilo ohms. It should show defective, but it is not showing means the module may be defective. So if we sum up the last points. Here you can see if the potentiometer is in 2 kilo ohms minimum. Let us take an example where we have given our potentiometer of the sub module as minimum 2 kilo ohms and your red LED fault is lit. The system cannot be reset. So in this condition, the minimum is 2 kilo ohms. Is say, come ho gaya hai aapka reading, then you cannot reset it. You can only mute it. That is the leakage is less than 2 kilo ohms and it requires immediate attention. Means your system is likely to fail. As previous example, it can be even 100 ohms, 50 ohms are less than that. More current may, may, may be leaking and your system may fail. So you should be very careful. If it is a condition where minimum is kept 2 kilo ohms and still you are getting a fault indication. Now note 2. In the leakage distance of the meter is within correct range. But fault indication is lit simultaneously for all the modules. And the system is not able to reset. Then one of the earths may be defective it can be open or high resistance may be there we have said it should be less than 10 kilo ohms. maybe it is very high number three if leakage resistance reading is less than 2 kilo ohms but no fault indication if the leakage resistance is less than 2 kilo ohms, that there is no fault indication then the module may be defective you have to replace that particular module so with this I hope you will get a clarity on earth leakage detector. Thank you. Jai Hind.